Sign Me a Story. Starring Linda Bove. With Elaine Bromka. Tim Scanlon. And Ed Water Street. Linda's saying maybe some people didn't understand what she just said. Well, why don't we start again? Hi, my name is Linda, and I'm going to sign you a story. I'm using my hands to talk. This is called sign language. I use sign language because I, I'm deaf and I can't hear. My name is Elaine. I'm not deaf, but I use sign language, too. It helps me speak to my friends who are deaf, and I think it's a lot of fun. We think you can have fun with sign language, too. When I was a little girl and I wanted a bedtime story, I never asked my mother to read to me. I always said, please, Mama, sign me a story. And now, that's what I'm going to do for you. Our first story is called Little Red Riding Hood. But before we start, we'd like to show you some of the signs that you'll see during the story. Little. Doesn't it look little? Little. Right. Little. Red because of the color red in your lips. Try it. Red. Girl. Well, in the olden days, girls used to wear bonnets, and the bonnet string became the sign girl. Walk. See how my hands are walking? Walk. Woods. You make your arm into a big, tall tree. And then you move it to show many trees. Woods. Grandmother. We're going to meet Grandmother a little later in the story. Grandmother. House. That's the place where you live. House. Big. Imagine that you're holding something really big. Try it. Big. Bad. Make your face look bad. 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 Wolf. Doesn't he look ferocious? Wolf. See. You see with your eyes. Can you do it? See, hear, or you hear with your ear. Hear, eat. Imagine that you're eating something from your hand. Try it. Eat. As we tell our story now, see how many of those signs you can spot. Okay, are you ready for Little Red Riding Hood? Let's go. Once upon a time, Little Red Riding Hood. Once upon a time, there was a little girl named Little Red Riding Hood. I am called 
like Little Red Riding Hood, she said, because I always wear this beautiful red cape that my grandmother made for me. Today, I'm bringing a basket of goodies to my grandmother because she's sick. And off she went. As she walked through the woods, she met a man. Who are you? she asked. I am a woodcutter. Who are you? And where are you going all alone in the woods? I am Little Red Riding Hood, she said. And I'm going to my grandmother's house to bring her this basket of goodies because she's sick. Where does your grandmother live, little girl? She lives on the other side of the woods. There's a big bad wolf in the woods. You must be careful. I will. Promise? I promise, said Little Red Riding Hood. And off she walked down the path. Now, Little Red Riding Hood had never seen a wolf before, so she walked through the woods unafraid. Suddenly, from behind a tree, out jumped the big bad wolf. Hello, little girl, he said. Where are you going? I'm going to my grandmother's house to bring her this basket of goodies. The wolf thought, Hmm, she certainly looks delicious, and it is just about lunchtime. And where does your grandmother live, asked the wolf. She lives on the other side of the woods. That way? That way. Hmm. The wolf thought, if I take the shortcut to grandmother's house, I can eat them both. So he sneaked off to grandmother's house. at grandmother's house, he surprised her in bed. Ah, the big bad wolf! Yes, the big bad hungry wolf. And I'm going to eat you up. No, oh, no! Yes, yes! Grandmother jumped out of bed and tried to get away from the wolf, but he ran after her. Then he grabbed her and locked her in the wardrobe. When the little girl gets here, said the wolf, I'll eat them both. <laughs> Just then, Little Red Riding Hood arrived at her grandmother's house. The wolf, pretending to be grandmother, waited in bed. Hello, grandmother. I've come to bring you this basket of goodies and some nice flowers. Come closer, said the wolf. Oh, Granny, what a strange voice you have. That's because I am sick, my dear. Oh, Granny, what big eyes you have. The better to see you with, my dear. Oh, Granny, what big ears you have. The better to hear you with, my dear. Oh, Granny, what big teeth you have. The better to eat you with. And the wolf jumped out of bed and chased Little Red Riding Hood around the room. Little Red Riding Hood yelled, Help! Help! as loud as she could. The woodcutter heard the screams and rushed into the room and chased the wolf out of the house and into the woods. When the wolf was gone, Little Red Riding Hood said to the woodcutter, Thank you so much. You saved my life. I told you you should be careful. You certainly were right. But what happened to my poor grandmother? Just then, the woodcutter heard something. I 
I think I hear a noise coming from the wardrobe, he said. So the woodcutter let grandmother out of the wardrobe. Oh my goodness, said grandmother, the big bad wolf was here. Yes, I know, but this kind woodcutter arrived just in time, said Little Red Riding Hood. And he chased the wolf away. I'm so glad you're okay, grandmother. I'm so glad you're okay, my dear. I brought this basket of goodies for you. And Little Red Riding Hood and Grandmother hugged each other. And they all lived happily ever after. And they all lived happily ever after. The end. We hope you liked our story. Did you see all the signs that we showed you in the beginning? Let's look at them again. Little. Red. That was very good. You'll see some of these signs, and many new signs, in our next story. But before we tell you the story of Goldilocks and the Three Bears, we'll show you some of the signs that you'll be seeing. Three. One, two, three. Now you try it. Three. Good. That's the sign for three. Bear. Looks like a big shaggy bear scratching his chest, doesn't it? Can you do it? Bear. Papa. We use the same sign for father or daddy. Papa. Mama. We use the same sign for mother or mommy. Mama. Baby. You see how I rock the baby in my arms? Baby. Hot. Imagine hot steam coming out of your mouth. Hot. Cold. It's like when you're standing outside in the cold and you feel so chilled, you shiver like that. Cold. Chair. You take these two fingers and sit them down on those two fingers. Chair. High. Put your hand way up in the air and you'll be doing the sign for high. High. Low. Put your hand way down there. You'll be doing the sign for low. Low. Bed. It's the place where you sleep. So put your head on your pillow. See if you can do it. Bed. Hard. Pretend your hand is a rock. And with these two fingers, hit it hard. Ah, <laughs> that's hard. Hard. Soft. Imagine that you're squeezing a giant marshmallow. Now you're doing the sign for soft. Soft. Now look for these signs in our next story. Goldilocks and the Three Bears. And if you're ready, 
Let's begin. Once upon a time, Goldilocks and the Three Bears. Once upon a time, in a little house in the woods, lived three bears. There was a great big papa bear, a middle-sized mama bear, and a little baby bear. Mama bear said, I think I will make porridge for breakfast today. She made a great big bowl for Papa Bear. A middle-sized bowl for Mama Bear. And a little bowl for Baby Bear. But the porridge was so hot, they couldn't eat it. Papa Bear said, my porridge is too hot. Mama Bear said, ooh. My porridge is too hot. And Baby Bear said, Oh, my porridge is too hot. I have an idea. Why don't we go for a walk in the woods while the porridge cools? Good idea, Papa Bear, said Mama Bear and Baby Bear. And off they went. Meanwhile, a little girl was taking a walk in the woods. My name is Goldilocks. I am taking a walk in the woods. Just as the three bears disappeared into the woods, Goldilocks came skipping up the path. When she saw the little house of the three bears, she said, Look at that nice little house. I wonder who lives there. I will go and see. And she skipped up the path to the house. When she reached the house, she knocked on the door, but no one answered. Yoo-hoo, hello, she called. Yoo-hoo, is anybody home? But all was quiet, so she walked right in. When Goldilocks got into the house, she realized that she was very hungry. I wonder if there's anything to eat in this house, she said. Oh, look! Someone has made some porridge. Oh, I am so hungry. I'm sure they will not mind if I take just a little taste. First, she went to Papa Bear's great big bowl and took a taste of porridge. <gasps> oh, this porridge is too hot, she said. Next, she went to Mama Bear's middle-sized bowl and took a taste. Ugh, this porridge is too cold. Then she went to Baby Bear's little bowl and took a taste. Mmm, this porridge is just right. Maybe I will take just one more little taste, she said. Mm. Well, maybe just one more little tiny taste. And 
before she could stop herself. She ate it all up. Oh, said Coldilocks, look what I've done. I ate it all up. I will make some more. But first, I need to sit down and take a rest. Goldilocks found three chairs in front of the fireplace. Look! Three chairs, she said. I think I will sit for a while. I will make the porridge later. First, she tried Papa Bear's great big chair. But it was too high. This chair is too high, she said. Next, she tried Mama Bear's middle-sized chair, but it was too low. This chair is too low, she said. Then she saw Baby Bear's little chair. This chair looks just right. I think I will sit here. But when she sat down, the chair was too small. and it broke into pieces. Oh, said Goldilocks, look what I've done. I broke the chair. Maybe I could fix it. But Goldilocks was very tired. I'm very tired. I think I'll just go upstairs and take a little nap. I will fix the chair later. So Goldilocks climbed up the stairs. When Goldilocks reached the bedroom, she saw three beds. Three beds, she said. First, she tried Papa Bear's great big bed. Oh, she said, this bed is too hard. Next, she tried Mama Bear's middle-sized bed. Oh, she said, this bed is too soft. Then she tried Baby Bear's little bed. Oh, she said, this bed is just right. So she got into bed, pulled up the covers, and fell fast asleep. Just then, the three bears returned home from their walk in the woods. Papa Bear said, That was a good walk. But now, I'm really hungry. Papa Bear went right to his great big bowl of porridge. And when he looked at his bowl, he said, Somebody's been eating my porridge. Then Mama Bear looked at her bowl and said, Someone has been eating my porridge. Then Baby Bear looked at his bowl and cried, Somebody has been eating my porridge. And it's all gone. Maybe we should all go sit by the fire, said Papa Bear. Good idea, Papa Bear, said Mama Bear and Baby Bear. When they walked into the next room, Papa Bear went to his great big chair. Somebody has been sitting in my chair, said Papa Bear. Somebody has been sitting in my chair, said Mama Bear. Then Baby Bear cried. Somebody has been sitting in my chair, and my chair is broken all to pieces. Maybe we should look upstairs, said Papa Bear. 
Good idea, Papa Bear, said Mama Bear and Baby Bear. So they went upstairs. Papa Bear looked at his great big bed and said, Someone has been sleeping in my bed. Next, Mama Bear looked at her middle-sized bed and said, Somebody has been sleeping in my bed. Then Baby Bear looked at his bed and cried, Somebody has been sleeping in my bed, and there she is. Just then, Goldilocks woke up. She was so frightened when she saw the three bears staring down at her that she jumped out of bed. She ran as fast as her legs would carry her out of the house and all the way home. And all the way home. The end. Goldilocks has always been one of my favorite stories. Did you see the signs in this story? Let's look at them again. Three. Mama, baby, walk, hot, cold, chair, Hard, soft, we hope you enjoyed our stories and hope that you had some fun learning sign language. Don't worry if you didn't get all the signs the first time. You can watch this tape again and again, and each time you'll learn more. All you have to say is, sign me a story. See you next time. Happy signing.